Freedom! I have something to talk to you about, and it's such a thing that people just don't get about YouTube. YouTube is like any online business. It's really like any business anywhere. And people don't understand that if you don't run your channel like a business, you won't reap the benefits of running your channel like a business. Imagine for a moment that you ran a business that you only opened maybe three days a week. It was just randomly whenever you felt like it. Your clientele probably wouldn't be too happy with your performance. Now also imagine a business where you only advertised, oh, I don't know, whenever you felt like it, or uh, maybe sometimes you were in the phone book and other times you weren't. Maybe sometimes you ran online ads, sometimes, eh, not so much. In business, consistency is key. The same thing is true here on YouTube, but I'm gonna try to stay away from the whole consistency is key thing because yeah, people misunderstand that to be like, oh my goodness, I've heard this before. So let's talk about YouTube as a business. YouTube as a business, if you're looking to make money, like really super rich famous money, is probably not the best idea. However, if you're looking to do YouTube for fun, if you're looking to do YouTube to grow a following, that maybe you can move on to something else, into the project later, maybe you're looking to do YouTube to capitalize on the audience for something else. Maybe you're a game developer who's showing off the uh, in-development footage of your game, or, or whatever. YouTube is an advertisement platform in itself. However, if you're doing YouTube to do YouTube, you need to take the initiative to use that advertising platform in conjunction with others. Twitter, Facebook, whatever. This is your advertising, even Instagram. Sky Does Minecraft, I'll use him as an example, is on Instagram. Why is he on Instagram? Advertising. He also enjoys being there. However, it's also very important to note that, you know, the followers you gain one place may or may not follow you other places. However, if I'm someone who enjoys doing YouTube and I'm really into Instagram, well, that's kind of a no-brainer, duh, I'm going to follow you, you know, both places. It can also, this, this advertisement can also help re-engage old fans. It can help, you know, you get followers that you never would have gotten before because someone who liked you on YouTube is now sharing your Facebook stuff or your Back when I was your age, we used MySpace and we liked it! After you've taken care of all of your advertising, you also have to worry about your hours of operation, which on YouTube is the equivalent of how often or when do you upload? Do you just upload and let it go? Or do you upload and then schedule it for a specific time. In my personal experience, channels who upload and just let it go whenever it happens to get uploaded are doing themselves a huge disservice. A good YouTuber, a good businessman, puts a little bit more thought into it, looks at his traffic to see when his traffic is there, your hourly breakdowns, and figures out, okay, well, my audience is usually peaking at around this time. So the best time to uh, do my videos or have them uploaded or scheduled to be public is this time. That is the best YouTube business decision that you can make. All right, so we've got hours of operation out of the picture. Now let's talk about money. Now, money with YouTube is kind of one of those weird subjects because we all do this because we love it, but it's nice to have, it's nice to talk about, and it's definitely nice to have to pay for new microphones, new webcams, new gaming software, new games, new whatever it is that vloggers need. Back in my day, we didn't have vloggers. We just had talk radio. So, when it comes to money, it's always a good idea to not spend money you don't have. So, for instance, let's say you know that you're about to get paid and you want to buy a new microphone. Until you get that money in your hand, don't spend it. Also, it's really good to look at everything from a cost-benefit standpoint. Is your $300 lighting system really going to pay for itself in the first month or two? Next thing you have to ask yourself is, what is an investment versus something that's really nice to have that will possibly pay for itself or make your life a little bit easier? So for instance, I have a microphone right above my head that you don't see. And it's held there by a microphone stand that I probably don't need, 
but it helps. So this is something that's not really gonna pay for itself, but it really made me feel better about my setup. So it's just one of those things you have to take into consideration. Back in my day, mice and keyboard were white and we liked it that way. None of this fancy laser stuff. All right, so that's enough of that. I would like to continue this series, but only if you have questions about running YouTube as a business. This is something that's kind of close to my heart because it's how I've always run my channel. I make a point never to make a purchase that won't pay for itself within the first month or two. And I also make a point to make sure that I advertise properly and that I'm open certain hours of operation. But anyways, that's enough of that. If you would like me to continue this series, ask me questions in the comment section down below and I'll use that for topics on future videos about running YouTube as a business. Till next time, I'm Anthony with Freedom. Like, subscribe, comments please. Back in my day, we had to use our mouths for comments!